Hi everybody, welcome to Create with Katie. Today we are going to make a simple, quick, six by six art journal page or card. We're going to use two colors in the background. Now this six by six card is, has already been gessoed and I'm going to mix on top, I'm gonna to brush paint, it's green blue Amsterdam and green, yellow green, Liquitex Basics or Artist Loft. And I'm mixing that maybe with a little bit of white gesso and I'm just brushing it onto the gessoed card. Now that's really important that it is gessoed because we are going to remove paint through a stencil and that will allow us to do that. If you don't gesso it, it will stick to the paper and you won't get quite the same effect. So I'm using this Tulip Hexagon stencil. It's a new one from the Crafters Workshop. And I'm using a wet baby wipe and I'm removing the paint through the stencil. That's lifting it up. It's not, just, you don't go white, white underneath but it's lifting up most of it and then I'm peeling it off. Now you gotta move fairly quickly so the paint doesn't dry. Now I had these edges there and when I got to finalizing what I was going to do with this card, I decided that I wanted to have that stenciling all the way to the edge. So I just simply take that stencil and put it on there and I'm applying a little bit of white gesso on it. I'm trying really hard to get that same look that I got with um, moving the paint through the stencil and by using the white gesso instead of white acrylic paint I, I'm quite successful at that. So I'm just working my way around filling in those gaps and I want this gorgeous pattern to go from end to end and I absolutely love 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 the patterning on this. This kind of reminded me 60s style and then I remembered I had this digital printable from Elena Zinsky Art and I'll put a link in the description box. Now I'm going through my Grateful Thankful Blessed sentiment pack which you can get uh, as a digital download um, from Ninny's Napkins. And I picked the one, Jumping for Joy is Good Exercise. It just seems to go with the, the digital printable as well as the color scheme in the background. So I'm cutting the sentiment down. I ended up blowing it up a little bit for the Jumping for Joy part, kind of mix and match sizes. And that's the great thing, whether it's a digital printable like Elena's Girl or um, My Sentiments, you can adjust the sizing to fit whatever substrate. So if you were doing this on a 9 by 12 art journal page, you can make the girl bigger, you can make the sentiment bigger. You can't do that with a regular stamp. Now I'm gluing everything down with fluid matte medium and I'm being very careful to make sure that I get a co good coat of that matte medium on top of the girl. I want her to be a non-porous area when I start colorizing. Now I could have used my acrylic paints but I decided to use my big brush markers. These are ink and they are permanent when they are completely dry, which you know I love because it makes for less hassles down the road. And I'm mixing the colors on top. Now if this was raw paper, they would soak into the paper and you wouldn't be able to blend them as easily as what I'm doing here. I'm taking a couple colors and I'm blending as I go. If you like coloring, and like coloring, you know, stamped images or digital printables. I recommend getting these brush markers. They are great. I've had these for, oh, probably four or five years. And they are as 
colorful and as wet and vibrant as they were the first day. I chose the colors, the yellows, the warm colors for the girl because those are opposite the teal and the green that the background has. And I know when you have colors that are across the wheel that they are really going to pop and work well on the page together. And lately, it seems like I keep coming back to this particular color scheme. Do you ever get into a trend where you keep doing the same thing, the same theme, or the same colors? Embrace it. Now, I grabbed my Delta Serem coat. This is old. I think this paint is probably a good 20 years old. Still works. And I'm just colorizing the face and hands of this girl. You can mix paint to get whatever kind of skin tone that you want. If you want and you don't have markers, you can use whatever color. You could color them with pencil crayons for that matter and then glue them on. Or you can paint with acrylic paint. I just didn't want to fuss with little bits of paint today. Just cutting off the little bits that are going over the edge. And then I grab my corner punch. This is We Are Memory Makers, I believe. I'll put a link in the description box. And I'm just cutting corners. I just wanted to round them just to make the card a little extra special. I like me a round edge. Now I'm shading just to add a little bit more interest and, and definition to my focal image and make it pop. This is acrylic paint on an angle brush. With Canadian Thanksgiving come up, this is a perfect time for this sentiment. If you don't have this digital printable, uh, you can find a magazine picture of somebody jumping or a picture of one of your own pictures of somebody jumping and use that on your page. There's lots of options. I'm just using, I'm using a Micron pen here and then I switch to my Secura glaze pen. It's a little bit bolder and it's glossy and dimensional and it just gives a little more oomph on the page. I'm just outlining the entire girl. And it's all these little details that really bump up your page. I said, this is a six by six folded card, but you can do this on an art journal page. Absolutely. We have uh, two colors, one technique, one stencil, one sentiment and one digital printable. You don't need a lot of supplies to make great projects. I'm using the Ranger Blending Foam and I'm just edging the page or the card with black acrylic paint. I have more control with the blending foam than with a makeup sponge. And there we have it, a finished card that some lucky person is going to get in the mail.
splatter with gold for a little bling. Close-ups of the finished card. Follow. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Until next time, go get creative.